sometimes I lose sight of the purpose of doing my best work. For the longest time to me, it meant an endless pursuit of perfection, tempered by the very real exhaustion this kind of sustained madness bears into reality, obsessing over every detail, going far beyond what anyone else would reasonably notice, because I notice, and I know if the imperfection is there. Comparing myself to all the greats I've idolized, anxiously awaiting any iota of feedback I could squeeze from a friend or a random passerby, escalating this endeavor to greatness each time because my new best work can't just be as good as my previous best work, it has to be even better. But these days, I don't think that's what doing my best work really means anymore. I see a lot of debate in the Doom community about the qualities of modern mapping that feels more like lines of questioning descended from the more postmodern, almost nihilistic, what is the point of any of this? This need to deconstruct the purpose of a creative work, the purview of a lens that not even content produced by the Doom community can escape from being underneath. Even when we talk about Doom, we can't get away from this drive to know why things are the way they are and what meaning they have. What makes an encounter interesting? Where do you draw the line between style and substance? Is sigil overrated? What's the correct way to approach difficulty? Why did people ever think the levels in Doom 2 were any good? Why would someone bother making this garbage? Like a river current stirring up sediment at its bottom, the debates will always continue to turn over and over, and matters are never really settled. To answer what makes an encounter interesting, what if I propose an encounter with 5,000 revenants and challenge you to come up with a theoretical answer both for and against it being interesting? You might say, well, what about the shape of the map? What weapons does the player have and what other monsters are there? What is the context? The nuance is easy to see. The context absolutely shapes the answer. So why is it so hard to consider the same context when I challenge myself to do my best work? Because not every situation is the same, and not every map has an equivalent reason for existing. Is it because I can't help but compare myself to the type of examples that stand as the apotheosis of what's possible in doom mapping? The sunders, the sunlusts, the fractured worlds is. <laughs> These and so many countless more, completely dwarfing me in my tiny little microcosm of the mapping world, hammering away in the editor trying to create something of even nominal value. That maybe the reason I can't tailor my expectations is because the inner critic driving me to work my hands to the bone convinces me it's not worth questioning the context and that this exercise isn't worth doing unless I'm going to put my entire back into it every time. Lately, I'm trying to take a step back from that mindset. I keep fixating on the word best, but maybe it's more appropriate to say satisfying. Yet even that can miss the context with a quick list of examples. Did the authors of I Can't Give You Anything or Fava Beans or 10x10 Project or Abandon Shadows of Darkness derive the same kind of satisfaction while creating their respective works? Where does it all fall along the gamut of satisfaction where one end is elation at seeing a vision come to life and the other is relief at finally freeing yourself from the maddening drive to express something, anything? And were the authors creating their best work, not good work, but the best work for what they needed at the time. For me, it's kind of the same as talking about how you play Doom. Why would you bother playing Hurt Me Plenty when you're good enough to play it on Ultraviolence? If you can beat Swim with the Whales, why would you bother going back to something like Doom the way it did? And if you can create a tightly calibrated combat showcase in boom format, why would you go back to making 90s style maps and limit removing? For some people, sometimes they want to carve the statue of David out of soap. And sometimes they just want to pop bubble wrap. They choose to play what they play because it's the best for them at the time. I don't want to completely eject the notion of doing good work from doing my best work because there is value in doing the best work you can 
and staying motivated to produce something that leaves you feeling satisfied in some way when you finish and not just because you finish. And I think if you expect people to observe your work, to engage with it, that you should endeavor to derive satisfaction from it in some way, that you should conjure a purpose for its existence, that you should expect people to have a reason to commit their valuable free time to considering it. Because perhaps it's a bit disappointing to see potential wasted in someone with talent, even if it's only a little bit. I used to think that nothing is worth doing if it's not done well. I embodied this hyperfixation on perfection, an inner critic with the power to control the universe of my imagination in the palm of his hand. The ideas graveyard for my maps is a testament to this. My discarded maps folder is a Golgotha atop which sits my altar of penance where I castigate myself for failing to produce another best work. I've slowly made peace with that. Because now I'm beginning to accept that doing my best work means best fit, not always best quality. It's whatever work will satisfy me the most. Don't get me wrong, I don't think I'll ever completely emancipate myself from the grip of perfection, nor do I completely want to. Holding yourself to a high standard is often a very good thing. But that standard can flex out across different axes besides quality. It can be fun. It can be meditative. It can be exploratory. And I elucidate this right now because I often need to hear it. And I'm guessing at least one other person out there will as well. I strive for satisfaction in the work that I do. And sometimes that means scribbling out a quick two-hour vanilla map that would take its rightful place in someone's random mid-games adventure. Thank you for listening to this little rant of mine. Did I really have a purpose to this essay? Sure, I guess a little bit. Mostly, I just wanted to share some thoughts. Do you agree with any of this? Is it pure drivel? I'll invite you to let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, best wishes from your old pal.